All right, today we are going to recharge the system, the air conditioning system, on a Subaru Forester 2005 model. First of all, we are using the AC Pro. That's their top of the line product. They have cheaper ones, but I've used this one before and it works really good. Anyway, there's a seal when you buy them. There's a seal right in there. You have to just unscrew this, take off the seal, and then put the lid back on. Or screw that back on. Okay, you want to make sure you start the car, turn the air conditioning unit on high, and the fan on high, and if you have maximum AC, put the switch on that, so you get it running through the system, as um, the product running through the system as best as possible, and then leave your doors propped open. That way the air conditioning unit will stay on, because it will cycle on and off once it cools down the car and this right here you can see with the tubes going in and out that's one's got a H for high go up this way and right up against the firewall there's the other one and that one's got an L on it for low and that is your port you need to fill with it's a low pressure. So you unscrew the little cap off of it. Don't lose it. Set it to the side. Alright, I will go ahead and start the car. And you want the car to be up to running speed, so you need to let it run for 5 to 10 minutes. That way, so it's fully heated up, everything's running good. And this one, I've tested it. I will hook it up again. And but it has barely any refrigerant in it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and get it running. One thing nice about this AC Pro, it's the, um, their top of the line brand. Anyway, it comes with um, leak sealer. So if you got a little leak in there, it'll help seal it up got a really big one it ain't gonna do nothing for you but a little tiny leak where it takes a year for it to leak out that will help seal it it's also got um, lubricants in there to help with the seals and everything in the system to help re um, lubricate them so it's actually a good product I used it in a Dodge I had on my other video I made and the stuff works so good because that Dodge was so bad it was it shut it off where it only put cool out the driver's side it was nothing out the passenger side it was only hot air coming out there and once I put this on oh my gosh it just turned so cold and one thing you gotta remember with this stuff shake it up really good because of the different products in there with the oil and the lubricants and then the um, R134 which is your refrigerant you want to make sure it's all mixed up really well and once you plug that on there and you start um, putting any or putting it in the system you only want to hold that trigger down for like 10 seconds maybe 15 at the most and then let go and then read what your gauge says right now this is what I just checked on that system I just stuck the hose on there and it's way down in the low and I mean it barely puts out any cool air once it gets hot outside you don't feel nothing so anyway, you don't want to go into the yellow, and you don't want to go into definitely don't want to go in the red because you can blow your system up. So go in the green. I am going to go right there at the upper end, a little bit past half, right around 40, maybe a little above that. You don't like I said, I don't want to push it, but yes, this is a really good product. But as you're putting it in, you do want to keep tilting your can like this. That keeps everything from separating. Just keep it slowly mixing as you're in putting the product in. Then, like the, then you stop, let off the trigger, and see where it reads. And when you need, if you need more, pull the trigger down, go.
go back to rocking it. Keep that stuff mixed. And here's your air conditioning. If you push it in, the light goes out. We want it to stay on. Stops on 65. Then you can click it one more click for maximum AC. Or it's down on the blue. And then you want the fan all the way on. We have both doors wide open. All right, we are going to hook the can up to the low pressure system right up here. It's pretty simple. This actually just snaps right on. Make sure it's nice and firm. You gotta shake the can really well. Get it, make sure it's mixed. It automatically goes to where it's telling you what your pressure is. And I am really low right now. So I will go ahead and start putting it in. And that's just by pulling the trigger. And now it's going in. And you want to keep rocking the can back and forth to keep everything mixed. Okay. Now I'm letting go. I am actually up in the green now. And the clicking is stopped in the air conditioning compressor. All right, it's still low, so we are going to keep shaking it and hit the button and add more. So it sounds like all that clicking and noise was coming from the air compressor. All right, let's check it. We're still in the lower part of the green. So we will go ahead and the air coming out of the air conditioning system was warm. And I think since it's so low, it's probably going to take the whole can. Stopping for a second. All right, we are still on the low filled, but it's in the green and our can's almost empty. So we are going to go ahead and add the whole can. This can is actually getting really cold. And that's for the tra or from the transfer of the liquids coming out of it. You can see the frost build up on it. All right, let's check it. We are still in the low green. So we are going to keep adding. But I figured it would take the whole can, maybe even a little more because this thing was completely empty. Still feel a little swashing around in there. Still in the low. I think my can is about empty. It's not getting cold anymore, so yes, it is empty. And I am still in the low, I'm at 30. And you can go up to 50 on the gauge. So we'll go ahead and unconnect it, and it's pretty simple. You just pull back on that, and it pops right off. Oh yeah. That quickly you can charge your system. And what's nice, usually on a car that's this old, that's antifreeze or the, um, the air coolant will leak out. But it is already way colder. Like I said, it was just putting out just like warm air. But it goes through the system that fast when you do that. And it's pretty much that simple to um, recharge your system.